everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Lisa, and this is World Wheelchair Warriors from uh, my channel on YouTube. If you are watching this video, it's because you're being invited to something or we're requesting some assistance from you. <laughs> so whether it's county, whether it's state, or whether it's federal. So the statistics are staggering. Um, the cost is on this video as well. And we want this to be a discussion. We would like this, uh, we would like our needs to be considered um, to reduce injuries, to reduce deaths around the United States for wheelchair users. Uh, we could include easily uh, the blind and the deaf as they go about their lives using the streets. Uh, so it's not only us, but other members in the disabled community. So we hope that these numbers and recommendations will assist you in adding us to your budget uh, this year urgently so that we can um, have the safety nets that we need when we cross streets, when we are on sidewalks, in other areas of our city. Thank you. As you can see, the numbers are staggering. Um, we continue to see in the news all the time uh, people who were seriously injured or in fact killed uh, attempting to cross the roads. Uh, one of the difficulties we have is when cars are turning right on a red and um, that uh, we need some kind of safety barriers when we get off the sidewalk and we're attempting to cross, when this signal uh, indicates that it's time for us to cross, uh, we follow uh, pedestrian signals, of course, um, but uh, some cars in, in many places, they have permission to turn on red, and uh, right on red, and it tends to be a car versus wheelchair, uh, so that is, one huge difficulty. In the state of uh, Wisconsin, in the county of Milwaukee, uh, we have difficulties with drivers who just go through red lights and our Department of uh, Transportation and uh, officers of the law are working on that to figure out a way to slow down drivers who just go through red lights. Uh, so that is uh, a, a huge burden for us uh, to be careful on, on those issues. Um, recently in the news, there was a woman who was attempting to cross a road in a car. The same driver hit her twice. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. You know, so the respect for people with disabilities trying to cross the road is his lost some kind of respect. I'm not sure what's going on in, in the driver's mind. But um, we need more protections uh, getting off the sidewalk, um, <coughs> attempting to cross the road, and, and making sure that we're crossing at the right times. So we do all of that. We have flags. We put on um, reflective stickers. We're doing all that so the cars can see us. However, 
uh, there seems to be some difficulty even with that. Uh, so we plead with you to uh, find ways uh, to include us in your budget and to help us plan uh, for more signals and some restrictions on the drivers so that when they see a person with disabilities, especially uh, someone in a wheelchair, because we, go, we do go slower than a regular pedestrian, uh, for people who are blind, who, who can't see and need to cross in a safe manner, and so many of them are also hit by drivers who are in a hurry and impatient. The, the crosswalks and, and the uh, roads with uh, signals that assist us to cross the roads in safe manners. Uh, each county, each state, uh, and on the federal level, they'll have to decide if they do it by regions, if they do it by east, west, south, north, um, I don't know. Uh, but the cost is not prohibited. Uh, but at the same time, it does require a budget. <laughs> so uh, I know in the Department of Transportation, there are funds uh, for this kind of need. So uh, you will know who your contacts are, either at the state level or federal level, to give you assistance in helping us improve the roads. There is one more thing that could be added to the budget that would assist us, I think, greatly, is signage for wheelchair users present. Uh, those signs for the streets are not used very commonly. Uh, they cost between $15 and uh, $50, so uh, that also might assist in certain areas. If you do a study of neighborhoods and uh, streets, uh, you might see from the neighborhoods into those crosswalks and those uh, more busy areas, you will see housing that has ramps. And so the suspicion is <laughs> there are people with wheelchairs in that XYZ area. If there's a hospital nearby or a nursing home, or a rehab place, also signage, should, could go up, uh, indicating there are wheelchair users in the area, or blind people, uh, or both, and for the cars to slow down and to be watchful uh, for that population in that area. I am hoping this information was helpful, and if there are any questions or more information that is re requested, uh, please let us know here at Wheelchair, uh, here at <laughs> World Wheelchair Warriors. We'll be happy to reach out to you and uh, assist you in finding other uh, information that you might need for your reports. And thank you so much for watching the video. If it was helpful, please let me know uh, because we can make other videos that are certainly helpful for the committees uh, to put this into discussion and continue to give us support in being able to cross the streets in a safe manner. Thank you and hope to see you again.